noticed the little fishy swam closer to the shipwreck, he heard a strange, whispery voice. <coughs> then an eerie white something rose up from the shadows of the sunken ship. It was what we pirates call a sea ghost. It's life. Stretched from its hands like long, squirmy eels. Its voice came to him in a spooky whisper. It said, I have an urgent message for Captain Barnacle. <laughs> <laughs> the vampire squid. Oh, phew. It's all right. He's an old friend. What seems to be the problem? Captain Barnacles, I have come from the deep down below where I have heard the cry of a hurt creature. A hurt creature? Peso, sound the octo alert. Octonauts, to the HQ. Octonauts, our friend the vampire squid has heard an injured creature down in the midnight zone. What sort of creature? I, I, I don't know. It is very dark and spooky down there. I get scared easily. Peso, why don't you take the guppy down below and investigate? As a medic, it's my duty to help any creature who's hurt or sick, no matter what. Even if they're hurt or sick in a very spooky place. If it's spooky down there, you're gonna need help, matey. Captain, I'm going too. I'll stay in touch on the radio. Let me know if you run into any trouble. Yes, Captain. Aye, right, Captain. Over there. That is where I heard the injured thing. Look at that. A shipwreck. And strange whispery noises, too. Just like in your story. Aye, matey. You don't think there's a sea ghost down here, do you? Ah, this is too spooky for me. Ugh, slime. Those noises sound like they're coming from over there. I'm going in for a closer look. Come in, Peso. Yes, Captain. Peso, we've got you and Quasi on the radar. We'll keep an eye on you from here. Thanks, Captain. We found a shipwreck, and strange noises seem to be coming from inside. It could be the hurt creature. Over and out. such thing as sea ghosts. <laughs> Hello? Is there anybody in here? Quasi? Is that you? <laughs> oh, phew! You're not a sea ghost. You're an anglerfish. Thank goodness someone heard me. I've got this pain in my lantern. Can you help? That's what I'm here for. Hmm. Looks like you've twisted this. <laughs> Sorry, what was that? <laughs> there's, there's, ah! there's nothing to worry about. This won't hurt. <laughs> now to get you a sticker. <laughs> Thank you. Hold on. Flappity flippers! Hey, sir! Oh, you don't want to go in there, boy! I'm coming for you, matey! I found Peso's bag, but Peso's nowhere to be seen. Well, according to the radar, he should be nearby. Yeah! That's it, Quasi. Keep going. 
Quasi, there's something else aboard the shipwreck. Whatever it is, it's heading straight for you. <laughs> I don't see anything. It's getting closer. Closer? Quasi, it's standing right next to you. <laughs> I don't see anything. Behind! In front! Just in turn! Captain! Captain, I, I can't hear you! Come in, Quasi! Captain, we've lost all radio contact. I know you hear some What? Who's there? Show yourself! Wow! Ah, gotcha this time! <laughs> yeah, a sea ghost! Pay so! Did you have to do that? Well, sorry, Quasi. I didn't mean to scare you. You, you didn't. It's just I think this wreck may be haunted by a sea ghost. I saw something too, but sea ghosts are only make believe, aren't they? The sea ghost. <laughs> Barnacles. I came down as soon as we lost radio contact. Were you expecting someone else? Yes, the sea ghost. Sea ghost? It's got a strange whispery voice and long white fingers like slimy eels. It tried to grab me with them. Captain, it snuck up behind me and listen. Whatever it is, I don't think it wants us to be here. We'd better move out fast. This way, hurry. <laughs> The sea ghost strikes again! Let go! I've got you! I've got you! It's got me! This way! Did we just get elbowed by a ghost? <laughs> Just a little further. Whoa! This way! Um... Pardon? Did you say help? Help a ghost? I'm so sorry to bother you, but I'm not actually a ghost. I'm a long armed squid. A long armed squid? I've seen squids before, and they don't look like ghosts. Oh, but there are lots of different kinds of squid. Giant squid, vampire squid, and me, a long-armed squid. See? So those were your elbows that bumped us earlier. Oh, yes, I'm uh, really sorry about that. These elbows of mine are always getting in the way. We're the only squid that have them, you know. But I'm afraid my elbows aren't the problem. Your tentacle is tangled. Yeah, that's why I was trying to, you know, get your attention. But why didn't you just ask us for help? Well, uh, we long-armed squids are, well, shy. I'm sorry if I uh, frightened you. Frightened? <laughs> It'd take more than a squid to frighten me. Oh, do you think you could help me with my tentacle, if it wouldn't be too much trouble? No trouble at all. Octonauts? Let's untangle this tentacle. Ready, Peso? Ready. Oh, I'm free. Hmm, you need a bandage on that. Oh, it feels better already. Thank you, Peso. It was no trouble at all. You be careful with those elbows of yours. I will. Goodbye. Cheerio. Oh, oh, oh. Ah, my friends. Did you find... Wait. You forgot your medical bag. Ah, ghost. Oh, vampire. Ah, squid. <laughs> <laughs> Wow.
I've never seen a moon like this. Tis known as a pirate's moon and happens but once every 100 years. Shiver me, whiskers, the flying swords! Flying swords? Aye, according to legend, tis only on the night of the rare pirate moon when cold ocean waters turn warm that ye may be lucky enough to see the flying swords. They're a sign, me hearties, that you are near a sunken pirate ship where X marks the spot of the greatest treasure ye could ever hope to find. The Sword of the Pirate King! But any pirate who hopes to take it as his own must be brave indeed, because the Sword of the Pirate King is guarded by three magical flying swords. Me granddad always wanted to find that treasure. Alas, he never had the chance. But now I do! Arr, are we going to look for the Pirate King's sword, matey? Not we, Peso. Tis a mission I need to go on alone. For the honor of me granddad, Calico Jack. I understand. Good luck, Quasi. We'll follow your progress from the octopod. <laughs> a sunken ship. This could be it. Well done, Quasi. Keep us posted. I'm going after that sword, me hearties. <laughs> These freezing waters are shivering me whiskers. Oh, what a glorious ship. The Pirate King! The sword is as good as mine. Strange. The water just got warmer. This is definitely it. Quasi, come in, Quasi. We've lost contact, Captain. His radio's been damaged. Dashy, sound the Octo Alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. Astronauts, we've lost radio contact with Quasi. He may be hurt or in trouble. Dashy, keep trying to radio him. Peso, into the guppe with me. Tweak, open the octo hatch. Got it, Cap. <sighs> Quasi to octopod. Come in, me hearties. Ah, me radio's broken. But I've still got a Pirate King sword to find. <laughs> okay, now, where's that X that marks the spot? <gasps> that warm water again. Yow! A flying sword. Yow! <laughs> No telling where more of these magical flying swords might be lurking. Ah! Here I am! No, over here! No, down here, matey! Arr! Two down, one to go! There he is, Captain. Hang on, Peso. This could get a bit rocky. Something tells me that the X that marks the spot is right behind this now! Oh, the last one. Stand aside, you scurvy sword. Magic ye may be, but quick enough to catch this pirate? Never! Captain, I've lost sight of him. Looks like he's inside the kelp forest. Quasi! <gasps> Look! Quasi! <gasps> it's not Quasi! We've been chasing a figurehead! One that could only have come off a pirate ship! But then, where's Quasi? Ha <laughs> ha! How ran it! <laughs> so, it's a duel you're wanting, is it? Then it's a duel ye shall have! Hey, you're a swordfish. Of course 
course I'm a swordfish. What did you think I was? Uh, a magic flying sword? <laughs> the only flying me and my fellow fish do is when we leap out of the ocean. So that was you. The light of the pirate moon made it look like it. Do I care what it looked like? No. What I do care about is uh, this is our feeding ground, and we want you gone. Ha! I don't want your food, matey. I want the sword of the pirate king. And if you think I'm leaving without it, you don't know much about pirates. And uh, you, my friend, don't know much about swordfish, or you would think twice about fighting us. We live by the sword. We use it for swimming fast, slashing at our food, and defending ourselves. Ha -ha! Three against one, eh? Just the way I like it. <laughs> Just regular sword fish, but we can heat up our eyes. It helps us to see better in the dark waters. It's working. My paws are getting warmer. Now let's get you out of there. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. Yeah. Quasi! Captain! Grab hold of the tow line! Sword is bruised. You need a bandage. Good as new. Oh, thank you, my friend. And thank you for saving our fellow fish's life. It was nothing. You're as brave as a swordfish, and not bad with a sword either. Anything we can do in return, you just let us know. Ah, all I want is what I came here for. The sword of the pirate king. Huh? huh? You must have seen it. It's here somewhere. X marks the spot. What is an X? What is a mark? What is a spurt? You swordfish aren't the magical guardians the legend told of. So maybe there's no sword of the Pirate King either. Come on, Quasi. Don't give up now. Hold on. X marks the spot. Mateys, I'm going to need your help. The sword of the Pirate King! Wow! If only me granddad could be here to see him! Those little lights are up ahead. 
Shellington? It could be a group of tiny firefly squid, Captain. They glow in the dark. Let's dim the lights so we can get a better look at them. Already on it, Captain. I still can't tell what they are for certain. They don't seem to be moving. Then let's get a little closer. Closer. Ah! Jumping jellyfish! Dashi, put us in reverse and pull away. I'm trying, Captain, but something's got us. Oh. Oh. Switch to steering wheel mode now. Must break free. Oh, oh dear. Ow! What? Shiver me whiskers. Lapperty flippers. It's no good, we're held tight. Dashy, lights, let's see what's got us. Aye, aye, Captain. <gasps> it's an enormous eye. Those itty bitty lights around my eye fooled you, didn't they? You didn't know they belonged to big old me. We mean you no harm. Please, let go of us at once. No. Uh, I grab it, I keep it. You weird looking squid. Dashy, oh, sound the Octo oh, Alert. Oh. Octonauts, to the HQ. <laughs> Shellington, any idea what's grabbed us? Yes, it's a colossal uh, squid. It's like my cousin, the giant squid, only oh, bigger. It's uh, the biggest squid in the ocean. I wish it would stop shaking us. No more shaking. Phew, that was easy. Time for squeezing. Yeah, he'll crush the octopod. Not if we match him tentacle for tentacle. Tweet. I've got just the thing, Cap. Wearing this tentacle suit, Professor Inkling will be able to move the arms of the octopod as if they were his own. Whoa! I may not be good at pushing buttons, but I'm an expert at tentacle wrestling. Excellent. Activate tentacle suit. Twist to the side. Now down. That's it! Aha! You're swashbuckling like a proper pirate, Professor! Ugh, oh my! I need to break free before he gets his hooks in us! Hooks? What hooks? The colossal squid has hooks on the ends of his tentacles! Yeah, which makes it quite a challenge to get away from him! Almost there! Just a few more twists and turns, and we'll be... Ah! <gasps> Ink Cloud, a classic move from the Squid Playbook. Oh no, I can't see where his tentacles are. That's right, eat my ink. <laughs> I'm taking you down, way down. <laughs> Captain, I'm afraid he's hooked us. Understood. Quasi, to the launch bay. Here's the plan. We'll swim outside and use our own paws to pry those hooks off the ship. <laughs> ah, these hooks are no match for a swashbuckling pirate. For every hook we loosen, two more move into place. <laughs> This will take all my polar bear strength. Got it! Captain, incoming tentacle! Thanks, Quasi. Anytime. Better keep moving. Captain, there's something heading straight for us. It's a pod of sperm whales, and sperm whales love to eat colossal squid. 
Ooh, I don't like the sound of that. If the sperm whales try to eat the colossal squid, then they might take a bite out of the octopod too. Oh, it's every squid for himself. I'm getting out of here. Oh, oh. Stop holding on to me. Let go. You're the one who's hooked onto us. You're right. I'm stuck. I'll never get away from the sperm whales if I can't move fast enough. Captain, the sperm whales are getting closer. Oh, we're doomed! Don't worry, we'll keep you and the octopod safe from the sperm whales. Octonauts, prepare all gups for launch. There you are, our colossal dinner. Octonauts, let's do this. Oh, hey! This is fun! Everyone, pull up! Up, 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 up! Now, back down! Oh, down! They're still chasing us. Yes, Peso, but sperm whales breathe air. So sooner or later, they'll have to swim back up to the surface to breathe. <sighs> Can't keep going. Must go up for air. Good work, Octonauts. Oh, thank you. You guys saved me. Um, I'm sorry about almost crushing your ship and stuff. No harm done. Well, not much anyway. And now, let's help you unhook yourself from the octopod. No, no. You just take it easy. Really, I can do it. Ugh. Watch out, matey. Your hooks are digging in deeper. Just a little tentacle trouble, that's all. Are you sure you don't need some help? Hold your seahorses, I can do it. I'll just brace myself. And give it a good swall. Yes! No! Oops, sorry. Tunip and the vegetables are in there. Ah, they're sinking fast. We've no time to lose. Everybody, dive! <laughs> it's too dark. I can't see the pod. I see it! I see it! You're pulling me poor. It's too dark down here to see anything. I have the biggest eyes in the ocean. And I can see just fine without light. Then let's use your squid vision. Where are they now? I'm looking, I'm looking. Uh-oh, down, go down. Everyone, dive. Oh, no, not that way, the other way. Bring the cups around. Hurry, they're heading for some sharp rocks. You've got one free tentacle. Reach out with it now and grab them if you can. All right. I think I've got it. Oh, I've got it. Octonauts, pull up. Well done. Sometimes a spare tentacle really comes in handy. I'm great at grabbing, but I have a hard time letting go. I guess I could use some help after all. Operation Untangle Tentacles begins now. Now that all your tentacles are back where they belong, it's time to return one of ours. Tweak? Okay, big guy. Bring up the pod. That's it. Up a little more. Down a little. A little more. Now to your left. <laughs> uh, to your other left. Got it! Super, super! Good work, everyone. I think this calls for a tentacle bump. Yeah! Easy now. Watch the hooks, matey. <laughs> <laughs> Monkey with a tool belt. Quasi, sound the octo alert. 
Octonauts to the launch bay. <laughs> <laughs>